Vi er Danmarks førende klimakommune. Vi har mere end 100% produktion af vedvarende energi på strømsiden, og vi har 85% på varmesiden. Så vi ligger helt i front. For the last 30 years, Tisted Municipality has extensively used and invested in renewable energy resources. Uh, the surprise is why isn't everyone else doing what Tisted's doing? They're a lighthouse, but this should be going on right now all over the world. What we see in Tisco is a blueprint for adapting to climate change. It shows that people and communities really count. Ja, I Tisco Kommune satser vi meget på vedvarende energi og alternativ energi. Fordi det dels er en god forretning, og dels så kan vi også godt lide at, at bo på en egen, hvor der er et rent miljø. Tisted municipality is a rural region of Denmark with 46,000 inhabitants. In size, it's one of the largest regions in Denmark and is characterized by its nature and people using nature in all aspects. Here, there's room for everyone. Tista is the biggest town and is located in the eastern part of the municipality, facing Limfjorden, the fjord that separates North Jutland from the rest of the Danish mainland. This area is characterized by small hills, farming country and a gentle fjord landscape. The western part of the municipality faces the rough and windy North Sea. The port of Hensholm, one of the biggest fishing ports in Europe, is also located here. With ferries to Norway, Iceland, the Faroe Islands and Scotland, the port is considered to be the North Atlantic Gateway. The municipality has also approximately 100 kilometers of unique coastline a mix of small traditional fishing hamlets and some of the biggest coastal heathland areas in Europe. The nature reserve was recently acknowledged when it became Denmark's first national park. The constant wind and waves here create world-class surf conditions and surfers from all over the world call this area cold Hawaii. For the people of the municipality of Tisted, being close to nature means more than just beauty and an active lifestyle. They have managed to turn the power of nature to their advantage. And this received recognition when, in 2007, they were awarded the European Solar Prize for their service to the utilization of renewable energy. Yes, so our role as a community is that we should try to be coordinated and to be on the front of the planning. Og det har vi faktisk gjort en hel del ud af at, at forsøge at samle de forskellige ildsjæle, både inden for biogas, inden for kraftvarmeværk, fjernvarme og vindenergi. Så det er vores rolle, men ildsjælene er det vigtigste. Det er det, at det vokser op nedefra. Det er det allervigtigste. This shows that local people, when they really want to do something, can do it. They didn't get any big largesse. They didn't get subsidized by any governments. They did it on their own. And they thought it out, and they planned it and they use their own knowledge and expertise and they created a community that's off-grid. It doesn't, it doesn't have to rely on Russian gas, doesn't have to rely on Middle East oil, it's all local. 
So it's what we call a third industrial revolution. That's what they've done in Teestead. People of the municipality of Teestead started thinking green in the early 80s. The Nordic Center for Renewable Energy was established in 1982, and since then it has developed and tested new CO2 neutral energy solutions. Today it's one of the biggest eco sites in Europe. In 1992, the municipality was rewarded by the Danish Ministry of Energy for being the first to develop a windmill plan that covered the whole area. This marked the beginning of a new and efficient way of implementing renewable energy sources. Når vi snakker om vedvarende energi, så har vi tre parametre. Vi bruger vores borgere aktivt. Vi bruger vores, hvad hedder det, lokale virksomheder. Vi bruger den teknologiudvikling der er i markedet. Og så ser vi på den økonomiske side af sagen. Og når de tre ting spiller fornuftigt sammen, så går det op i en højere enhed. Tisdag har ikke været naiv. I fact, it's created its own model. The